Good news from around the world, Vietnam edition. I'm shooting this in the streets of Vietnam. There's guys playing soccer over here, there's girls riding bikes, there's boats going by. This is Vietnam. Michael moved to Vietnam to teach English in university, but he found his inspiration teaching kids on the streets. There's a lot of kids and teenagers here working on the streets to try and earn some extra money by selling little trinkets and souvenirs to tourists but that's not the ideal situation for their future. In 2004, he started the Blue Dragon Children's Foundation to get kids off the streets and into schools. Since then, he's helped about 3,000 Vietnamese children off the streets, into schools, and on their way to a better future. I love that there's a lot of happy kids running around me as I'm telling these stories. That's wonderful. Vietnam. Kent Maxfield was a war veteran from the United States who had a lot of terrible memories of the Vietnam War. He decided he wanted to change his negative and scary memories of Vietnam into something inspiring and positive. Over 50 years later, he came back to Vietnam to give gifts to the people, to find love, to find inspiration, and to really love this country. Even enemies can turn into friends. Good for you, Ken. I hope more people follow in your footsteps. 40 years ago, an American pilot and a Vietnamese pilot were against each other at war the American actually shot down the Vietnamese pilot's plane. Luckily, he survived. 40 years later, and they're actually meeting for the first time with forgiveness and friendship. If these two guys can actually forgive each other and become friends, what's our excuse for having enemies? It's funny. <laughs> I love it. There's nothing I can do. We just gotta keep rolling, keep doing this, because good news doesn't stop and these guys are having fun. They're just adding to it. 11 new plant and animal species were just discovered in Vietnam. A new species of snake, five new orchids, and two new butterflies were just discovered. This isn't the first time in recent history that animals were discovered in Vietnam. In the past 20 years, we've discovered several large mammals that were here in this country. The langur is an endangered species with only about 250 of them left in the world. Recently, a family of about 40 of them were just discovered here. Surprisingly, this is the second largest family that they've discovered in the world. So you know the parents are getting jiggy. That is great for the species. In rainy season, there are torrential downpours. And kids that walk to school, sometimes their path gets covered by a river. So when dozens of children actually couldn't get to school because there was a river in their path, a local construction company stepped in to actually lift the kids with an excavator over the river. This might be the best good news episode I've done. I love my audience. These kids are wonderful. I love this country. And I hope you guys found some new inspiring stories about Vietnam. I'll see you guys next week. There's a new program being introduced into the school system that's two 15-minute sessions of meditation. The students are asked to sit in silence, to breathe deeply, and to relax their minds. Boom! Saved a life. You guys like Honey Nut Cheerios? I love Honey Nut Cheerios. I eat that for breakfast, for lunch, for a 4 a.m. snack. Who doesn't love Honey Nut Cheerios? Come on, speak up. I'm sure you know that their mascot is a bee. So Honey Nut Cheerios is really active in saving bees.